What we're doing here is a calibration check of a Rosemount 3144 temperature transmitter with an RTD input. For the temperature standard, we're using a dry block calibrator. So rather than use an electronic device to simulate a temperature input, we're actually using a device that is heating up to a known temperature, and we're inserting a real RTD into that known temperature source and seeing if the transmitter reads what it should. Now we just did an input trim on this transmitter to make sure that it read correctly at 300 degrees. So we have 299.9 degrees. And you can see the uh, pulse width modulation on the heater is, is working to keep the temperature stable at that level. Four wire RTD going into the transmitter. We chose four wire because that's going to give us the least amount of wiring resistance error as opposed to two or three wire. And we want minimum error when we're doing a calibration check like this. Then we uh, configured this using the Hart 375 communicator. And right here, if I can get the glare off the screen, we can see it's reading 300.03 degrees. Over here, 299.9. It's about as close as we've been able to get it to agree. It thinks it's putting out 20 milliamps, 20.00. Up here, we have 20.00, 20.01. So the agreement between the analog output reading here and the meter tells us that the output trim looks to be good at the high end. The agreement between the process variable reading and the temperature over here tells us that the input trim and the RTD and all the associated circuitry is also good on the, the upper end. This is an important concept to understand with smart transmitters, is that when you take a look at a communicator's display, the numbers you see on here are not necessarily real life. Those numbers reflect what the computer inside here thinks is going on. So this display here tells us 299.96 degrees. It thinks it's saying 299.96 degrees, but in reality it might be a little bit different. And we have trimmed the input to make sure those two agree. If we saw a substantial disagreement between the real life temperature and the PV display on the communicator, we would know either we had an input trim problem or perhaps an actual sensor problem in this case. Likewise, if we saw a substantial disagreement between the analog output display and the real measured current, if there's a disagreement between those two, we'd know that either we had a problem with the output trim on the transmitter, the digital analog converter trim, or perhaps even a, a problem with our, our measurement standard here. So that's a good way to tell where a calibration problem is in a smart transmitter, is by correlating the PV and the analog output values with real life known standards for PV and analog out. So our next check, what we're going to do is change the temperature to a lower amount, and we'll do a similar calibration check there as well to make sure the PV matches at the, uh, some lower value, and also that the milliamps uh, match as well at a lower value.